Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to already our fifth season of Chemcon TV's news bulletin. With CCTV, we can share news and information from Chemcon Asia 2017 in Beijing with you. Also, in this series of CCTV's news bulletins, you can expect interviews with authority and industry experts. Today, we start with two industry experts discussing K-Reach. As of tomorrow, several questions and answers from our panel discussions. Every day, a statement of the day and a forecast for the day. And as always, a local reporter. This time showing you beautiful Beijing and sharing interesting Chinese characteristics. Our local reporter is a friend of mine with whom I worked for many years in Beijing. He Liping, or Sherry. Sherry, nice to have you with us this week. Hi, Chu. Thanks for inviting me to be a local reporter. I went to the CCTV studio. However, it seems they do not know you. And where are you now? At the CCTV tower, of course. Oh, apologies for the confusion. CCTV stands for Chemcon TV, and our studio is located in our hotel. But while you are there, could you tell us something about the building behind you? Of course. This is the CCTV tower. It is located in the CBD area, Central Business District, in the Third Ring Road, and visible from most of Beijing. It is a truly three-dimensional experience that surprises you with its features, depending on from which angle you look at it. Sometimes it comes across very small, but this very special building winning the best tall building worldwide award in 2013. It is a design of the Office for Metropolitan Architecture. I know Oma. One of the architects of the CCTV building is Rem Koolhaas. He's from my hometown Rotterdam. And believe it or not, at the time of winning the design competition, Oma was part of Royal Haskoning. So for me, it's a very special Beijing building. Yes, I think it is also kind of special. You know, local Beijingers call this building Da Ku Char. The big underpants, a very funny name. Rem Kolha said this building could never have been conceived by the Chinese and could never have been built by Europeans. But I think it shows a great collaboration between two cultures. Talking about culture, it would be great if you could introduce us to some interesting Chinese characteristics this week. Yeah, looking forward. I'm on the way to your CCTV studio. Okay, see you soon. In the meantime, we will shift our focus to Korea. Please watch the highlights of the interview I had with Eun Kyung Ryu and Alex Lee on k -Reach. Taking the June 30, 2018 deadline into account uh, for the joint registration of the priority existing chemicals, uh, the clock is ticking, uh, Eun Kyung. Could you tell us a little bit about the preparatory status and in industry at the moment? So for the most of um, the majority of uh, PAC substances, the registration um, dossier preparation work is ongoing, including negotiation discussion uh, with data owner, about the, um, the, the price and the conditions, etc. And there are many stakeholders involved, uh, also like uh, the NIER. What is the role of NIER? NIER is in charge of our evaluation of registration dossier submitted uh, by industry, not only for new substances, but also uh, PEC substances. So upon the uh, evaluation of dossier, they may request for further or additional information even uh, order to produce a new data if they judge that um, the proper assessment or evaluation cannot be made mm -hmm. with the submitted dossier. So upon their review, they uh, designate toxic substance restricted or authorization chemicals that uh, requires further regulations for safe management. The complete interview can be viewed at our website, YouTube channel, and of course Tudo. And for those here in the hotel, at channel 30 or you just press the CCTV button in our ChemConnect app. Which brings me to the statement of the day. Also in Beijing, we use our ChemConnect app that allows us to share news and allows you to engage in interactive polls and you can use it for coming together. Regarding the statements, sometimes the statement is an actual statement and sometimes it's a more trivial question, like this example. If you play Mahjong, you need to recognize them and many street signs in China also display the wind directions. So it would be great if you can recognize them. Can you place them in the right order? With us in the CCTV studio in the northern capital of China, Beijing, Ms. Rainbow Zhang of Intertech for the very first statement of the day. Rainbow, welcome. 
Hello, my pleasure to be here. Rainbow, you of course know all wind directions. Uh, Beijing, the northern capital. Mm -hmm. uh, I lived in Jiangsu for a while. Nanjing, the southern capital. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard that Kaifeng in Henan has been named sometimes Dongjing, the eastern capital. But mm -hmm. was there ever a Xijing, a western capital? Yes, it should be Xi'an in the northwest of China and uh, within the province of Shanxi. Okay, famous for the terracotta army. Yes. Okay, we know a lot about Intertech, of course. It's uh, active in all wind directions in a lot of countries, uh, which enables you to assist global companies with a global test strategy. Why would you recommend such a strategy for companies? Global testing strategy always lead to a more efficient, economical and uh, timely access to the global market. And your statement is? My statement is, our company should have its global testing strategy. Thank you very much. Let us know what you think about it. Before we go to the forecast of the day, we first go to Sherry with some local Chinese characteristics. Good to see that you found the studio. I'm glad too. I see you have discussed wind directions. Maybe good to add the character Zhong, also found in Chinese Mahjong game. And of course, the first character of China, Zhongguo, the Middle Kingdom. Since for ancient Chinese, China was the center of the world. Many names of foreign countries are supposed to reflect a nice meaning or phonetic translations. Some interesting examples such as Mei Guo, America, beautiful country. First character means beauty and resembles sound me in America. Ben, Japan, land of the rising sun. And your country, Helan, the Netherlands or Holland. Helan sounds vaguely like Holland and means Lotus Arcade, so a flower country. A small but great country. Please join us at tonight's welcome reception. It's also related to Gerland. That would be nice, but where is it? Only ChemCon Asia 2017 secret, which we will not review yet. But I give you one hint. It's another Beijing building in which Royal Hasconi DHV was involved. Now, that's all for now. Time for the forecast. Before the welcome reception, a lot of interesting presentations. This morning we will start with a workshop on new chemical notification in China. After that we'll take a global approach to notification of new chemicals, polymers and biocides. And in the afternoon, a seminar on Korea. Thank you for watching and looking forward to seeing you at tonight's welcome reception.